And then I said, that's not a lawnmower, that's my wife. I suppose people at work actually laughed at that. Well, no, actually, they stared at me like I was insane, but I was patting myself on the back the whole day for that one. I bet you were. You know, you're so lame, but... Cheers. So how's the relationship life treating you? I'll tell you the same thing I always tell you. Get yourself a girl and find out for yourself. Well, shut it man, you know I love being single and ready to mingle. <sighs> Never say that again. Your mum loves a good mingle with me. You dick. Nah, I slapped her harder last night. Remind me again, why am I friends with you? Because I've got everything in the life that you wish you had. No emotional connection to one woman, nobody tying me down. Well, except in the bedroom of course. Stop winking at me man. I feel like you're coming on to me. And if I am? Well then we've got a very complicated relationship and I don't really want to lead you on so we'll end it right there. Listen Jamie, I love you man but not in that way. Plus, you're not my type. <laughs> Here, don't do that. Do what? Go on your phone when I'm with you, that's rude. Not my mum, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't mind, I'm just busting your balls. Arse. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Cheers. He hadn't scored an eight, and that is 18 for the season. Simplicity itself. One corner, two header. Taxi! <laughs> oh, take me home! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Hello, Walter. I need you to do something for me. Who are you? Why would I even consider helping you? Well, if you don't, I'll kill the woman you love. It's really as simple as that. You're lying. Do you believe me now, Walter? I'll kill you! I'll kill you, you sick son of a- Now, Walter, what part of this don't you understand? I have your girl. She dies unless you do what I want. Do you understand? You don't go to the police and I'll know if you do. You keep this phone on you at all time. That way, I can track your movement. Basically, anything you say or do that I do not approve of, she dies. Alright. I'll do whatever you want, just... Just don't hurt. Good. Now that we're on the same page, here's your first assignment. There's a knife duct taped under your seat. Use that to free yourself from the chair and make your way to the living room of the house. First dead body, right? Been there before, it's not a pretty sight. You're sick! Now that's just hurtful. But time is running short, Walter. I've called the police and you're holding the murder weapon in your hand. If I were you, I'd start running far and running fast. I'll be in touch. Taken care of. <laughs>